Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to One Question a Day. And in today's session, we are going to discuss on hypersemantosis. Hypersemantosis is not so uncommonly asked, but an essentiality that you need to know for your clinical practice as well as from academic standpoint of view. Hypersemantosis merely says or means that it is there is an excessive production of cementum. Mainly, it is of cellular cementum in type and more common in the apex of the tooth clinically. So excessive production of cementum, usually a cellular variant in the apex of the tooth. That can be generalized when involving a single tooth or a single surface or localized, affect a couple of teeth in the same area. If the overgrowth of the cementum improves the functional qualities of the cementum, it is termed as cementum hypertrophy, meaning the function of cementum is to compensate for the loss of the vertical dimension with attrition or with the loss of tooth structure. If the cementum forms as a result of that and that overgrowth improves the functional qualities or render mastigation or supports mastigation, then it is called a cementum hypertrophy and is often a challenge or a supportive measure for this loss of tooth structure. If the overgrowth occurs in a non-functional teeth, it is called as hyperplasia. Right? Increase size of the cell and increase number of cells. Hypertrophy, hyperplasia. The etiology could be the inflammation when involving the root structures, trauma and subsequent repair of the cemental structures. Diseases like osteitis, deformance, or Paget's disease. Uh, hormonal abnormalities such as hyperpituitarism, calcinosis, disease conditions such as rheumatic fever, etc. They are often seen in adults with permanent teeth being more commonly affected because their longevity. Very rarely deciduous teeth are involved. In multi-rooted tooth, one or more roots are involved. Often there is no complaint or problem with sensitivity or abnormal sensation. Excementosis is a knob-like projection of cementum mistaken for hypersemantosis and they usually develop around degenerated epithelial cells. They are found localized area are found or misinterpreted or clinically simulating hyperplastic cementum and often localized area. The cementocytes are the cells that are responsible for formation of cementum. Okay. During cellular cementum formation, some cementoblast becomes trapped or embedded in the cementoid matrix and becomes the cementocytes or the resting cells. They are very, they bear very similarity to the bone resting cells called as osteocytes and appear spider-like cells. They are found in a lacunae but have cell processes which are having canaliculi radiating from or radiating towards the extradon, external periodontal surface of the tissues. Whereas osteoblasts or osteocytes have processes that extend throughout in all directions. Whereas here, they are extending towards the periodontal surface in search of blood vessels. It could be a generative cells or completely a degenerative or regressive cells. When appropriately stimulated, these generative cells can form cementum. Resorption of cementum is a rare phenomenon because unlike bone, cementum is a static substance. Then draw a structure of a cementum, cell borders, a nucleus, prominent nucleus, more than one nucleus can be possible, cell processes. The diff salient difference between cementum and bone is that bone is a vascular structure, innovative structure, whereas cementum is a total avascular structure. No vessels, no blood vessels, no nerves. Osteocytes are more arranged in Havasian canals. Cementocytes are less, and not arranged in Havasian canals. Bone is a dynamic structure having both areas of resorption and deposition going on continuously. Cementum is not a dynamic condition a structure. It is a static structure. They are not resorbed under normal conditions. Only under pathological conditions, they are resorbed. They are often, bone is harder than cementum. RS symptom is less harder than bone because of the organic component. Presence of symptom associated protein, CAPs in symptom, bone lacks CAPs. 
with that we come to a discussion on hypersemitosis eczematosis and the difference salient important difference between bone and cement dam stay connected with our channel for more questions till then learn incrementally at least one question a day happy learning